Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And to all of my returning OGs, what's up, y'all? So welcome to February 2020, yeah? A very, very happy birthday to all my Aquarians out there. And I also want to wish a happy birthday to the February Pisceans. We will be moving into your season next, yes? So um, with that said, I do want to mention, first of all, I want to say that this is the intro and you will find a, um, a timestamp pinned in the comments section that will get you straight to the reading. So if you're watching multiple readings and you don't want to listen to the intro over and over again, you can use that timestamp. I do recommend, however, that everybody listen to the intro at least once because there is some information that you may really need or may be privy to, may want to be privy to, that you would miss had you not listened to the intro. Yeah. So with this being Aquarius season, I do want to mention that the reading for Aquarius could very well be a collective energy, a collective reading. However, it is intended to be for those who are looking for guidance, guidance for the sign of Aquarius because we are in that season. I do feel like this could be a reading for you generally. So maybe you might want to watch that reading just to see how it applies to you and what it could mean for your life moving through Aquarius season, just like I did with Capricorn last month. Um, even though I did mention that maybe I wanted to do a separate reading so that your readings don't get hijacked with collective energy. Hi <laughs> um, it didn't necessarily happen that way this month. I'll see. Um, but if you guys if you guys find that you know you might want an actual reading please let me know for the month of, or for the season that we're moving in i would love to know i'd love to hear that from you yeah um okay so these these readings are general and they are timeless so because they're general readings um you know just take what resonates everything is not going to resonate for everyone and this may not even be the reason for you if if you're hearing listening to this and it's just not fitting it's not making sense then please don't try and fit anything into your life that doesn't belong there naturally okay and also keep in mind that this is a general reading i'm channeling for thousands of people so um you know not everything is going to necessarily resonate with you all the time okay so just keep that in mind also these readings are timeless so just because it is dated for the month of february and i'm channeling energies for the messages for the month of february for you it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you during the month of february this could be messages that come forward to you that spirit wants you to know at this time but it's not something that doesn't actually manifest or happen for some time down the road okay so just keep that in mind i am available for private readings all the information is found in the description box below this video um, you can also find me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. I'm also on Instagram at Divine underscore Conversations. I do welcome you to reach out to me there. However, if you are looking to book a personal reading, I do not recommend that you use Facebook. Um, I don't even really recommend that you use Instagram. However, Instagram is a more viable option. I am able to get to the messages more quickly, but my dm situation is just full of all kinds of messages so there's still a possibility that i might miss your inquiry and with that said even if you were to say to reach out on instagram for a personal reading i'm still going to defer you back to email so if you would like to get a personal reading with me check the description box below my email can be found there along with all of the readings that i offer their description and their prices and then email me directly. My email address is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. But again, that can be found in the description box. Again, I am going to, even if you were to reach out on Instagram, I am still going to defer to your email address because I would at least need your email address to send you an invoice for the reading. So you're better off just skipping a step and emailing me, emailing me directly and I'll get you set up for a personal reading. Yeah? Cool. So the Oracle deck that we're using for this month is the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really, really enjoyed using this this um, this deck this month. Um, it was a deck that was provided by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in donating Oracle decks or Tarot decks that you would like to see used on the channel, I do have a PO box that the information for that can be found in the description box as well. Um, if you are going to send a tarot or oracle deck, you might just want to email me really quick and really and check in to see if I have that deck yet, um, so that you know we're not you're not kind of wasting money sending a repeat deck. Okay, um, but the one thing I want to say about this deck is that 
uh, of this Oracle deck is that the author speaks in first person kind of often. So just keep that in mind when I'm saying, when I'm reading through the, the, the definition on the, in the book and I'm speaking, I'm saying things like I, it's coming from the perspective of the author herself. Okay. It's not me speaking personally. It's the author and her narrative. It's sometimes it's in the first person, but it's great. I mean, it still worked really well. The messages were beautiful for that. So I'm excited to, for you to guys, for you guys to see them. And for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering, I'm not the type of reader that's looking into the situation to be nosy. My intention with these readings here is to bring forward the best messages for you that you need to hear at this time so that you can make a better decision for your life moving forward so that you can have a greater opportunity to be more discerning for your life and for the where you want to go and potentially what could be coming on down the pipeline for you. If at any moment you find that the, something is resonating with you and you don't quite like the way that sounds, you don't want to continue manifesting with that or manifesting that, you have the opportunity to change that manifestation by changing your thought process, then changing your beliefs and changing your alignment to the situation, okay? So just keep in mind, for those of you that are here trying to snoop, trying to get into people's minds, thinking that I'm trying to get into somebody's head, I'm not your guy, all right? There are plenty of people that are out here that may be doing that, but I'm not here for that. Also understand that I do not base my channelings on love specifically. If love comes out, then love comes out. I am not resistant to that. However, if you're looking for specific love readings, then this is probably not the, the channel for you. I do have moments where I will do uh, you know, a love live session here or there, but ultimately the focus of my channel or the focus of Divine Conversation is to bring you greater guidance and understanding about, well, to bring you greater guidance, of, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> to bring you greater understanding about what is going on in your life, the energies that are surrounding you, and then bringing you guidance in, in terms of handling those energies and making the best decisions for yourselves. Yes? Okay, I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before we get started, I just want to mention that construction is well underway across the street from my apartment. Um, if you're unfamiliar or if you're new to my channel, I've been mentioning how um, they're doing, they're building a, a new building across the street and I live on the street side. So like I have a bird's eye view of the construction, but also a lot of the noise and the sound gets in and they are in full swing and it's a little noisier today than normal i guess or whatnot but i just want to put that out there that's probably what you're hearing in the background if you can hear it i apologize for it but also there ain't shit i can do about it <laughs> so we're just gonna power through yeah all right gemini so let's get into your pre-shuffle energy so i'm not gonna lie this is feeling pretty troubling however it is following suit to what we discussed last month which was a very intense and quite frankly a quite a triggering reading or situation or a discussion okay so but the good thing i feel here even though even though you know this feels troubling i feel like you are rising to the occasion you have excuse me you have the five of swords with the knight of cups and the page of swords you also have the eight of swords here all right followed by the magician on the bottom of the deck now again i'm going to explain this to you but this feels and and at, at on the offset or, or on the i'm sorry on the onset in like the very beginning of this it looks quite troubling it looks like you are quite trapped you've got opposition behind you you've got drama and danger behind you I'm seeing you as this Knight of Cups energy here. You're keeping your wits about you. You're looking off into the future. And then you have this Eight of Swords energy, which is like a, a, a prison, okay? What I feel like is happening here, Gemini, is you are, your heart is rising up above all of the opposition, all of the fear, the danger, whatever, whatever it is you're experiencing, your heart is growing and rising up above that, okay? I'm literally seeing you even though I can, I, I, as a reader, I do see the pages in the suits as the mutable energies. So for you, obviously the page of swords would be Gemini, right? So that would be you, but I'm really seeing you as this Knight of Cups energy and you're surrounded. You're literally surrounded by all kinds of obstacles and drama and whatnot. 
And especially if you resonated with last month's reading, I'm picking up specifically that this is definitely a reading for you. Like I feel like you're most likely going to either resonate with this whole reading or at least just this pre-shuffle energy that I have here for you. But your heart is swelling. It's growing. It's like you're literally in this cage of just like drama and whatnot. And yet I see you like ballooning, rising up above that and from the middle from in in the middle of it and with this page of swords energy i feel like you are kind of seeking or looking for a way out but either way with the magician here you are absolutely manifesting some some way out of this okay whatever this situation circumstance is for you you are in the process either in the process of taking the lead or you're already in that energy of taking the lead and, and, and moving forward and working, uh, find, trying to find your way out of this cage that you find yourself in. There, there could be a little bit of a caged animal syndrome where you're kind of like, I don't know, getting really aggressive, maybe kind of losing your shit on people, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Yeah, that Knight of Cups. But ultimately, if that is the case, it's coming from a place of love, which seems weird, but it's love for yourself. It's like, I, I no longer accept this. Are you kidding me? Like, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this any longer. Like, get the F away from me. You're not going to keep me caged in here for much longer. It's only a matter of time before I break free and you'll be sorry. <laughs> it's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here for you, which is good. I mean, yeah, it's righteous, It's, but it's like you're finally in an, in an energy or a position to defend yourself, fend for yourself and all that kind of stuff. So this is a good thing, Gemini, all right? It's troubling, sure, but the fact that you're rising above it and, and breaking free, like manifesting a way to break free is beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah look we have the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck again and then we have the ten of pentacles here even with the page of wands that's showing itself so yeah i mean ten of pentacles is a lesson learned it's like you're literally you're literally in an energy gemini where it's like i'm never going to allow someone to cage me in like this ever again like i've learned my lesson and once i break free there is never any going back and with that page of wands energy that is definitely an energy of re-identifying yourself the ten of pentacles in my opinion, as a reader, um, is a, a, a life lesson completed. Beautiful, Gemini. I really like how this is going for you. Okay. Okay, so let's get into the rest of the reading here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, I'm going to give this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got here. And it's funny because I just saw 555 five, five on the counter here for me. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, here we go. One. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, ooh, moon <laughs> Rising, and Venus for the month of uh, February 2020. Did I say 2019 in the prayer? I meant 2020. Sorry, guys. If I did, I don't remember now. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> shuffle number two. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, number three. Number four. Whoopsie. Let's try that again. Number four. And finally, number five. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Let's see what we've got for you, gems. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Gemini, you have the Four of Swords. Okay. Um, so this is good. This is this is a good energy to have right now. I kind of feel like you need a break anyway. Some of you are working tirelessly. Some of you are really prob possibly either overextending yourself or are approaching a, an energy or a reality in which you are overextending yourself somehow. But also what I'm getting with the Four of Swords here is this is you taking a step back and working on your plan of action. Because like I said, well, number one, I heard that. 
that was the first thing I heard when the when I saw the Four of Swords. But also, like I said in the pre-shuffle, I it's like you're you're manifesting or seeking a way out of whatever prison you find yourself in. And of course, that is symbolic. You know, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe someone is actually in incarcerated, but it just whatever is going on for you, it feels like you're caged in, and you're working on finding your way out of that. Underneath the Four of Swords, yes. Indeed, you have the Ten of Wands. Underneath the Ten of Wands, you have the Page of Cups, okay? And under the Page of Cups, you have Temperance. Excellent. So, um, you know, f so for some of you, well, okay, not... I'm not, I'm not going to say for some of you because it's obviously what's coming through in the reading. So it's for whomever is resonating with this or whomever this reading is for. But what you need to do right now is take a step back go in and in, go internal or go to your own like safe space or whatever space you equivalent to that you that you have and really meditate and really face your emotions right now because either you're really burdened by what you're feeling and maybe you're trying to push it all away or maybe you're just trying to persevere while still feeling all these heavy emotions so that could be an energy as, as to why you may be overextending yourself right now so some of you need to take some time and like sit and rest and meditate and feel through it is through feel through whatever it is is coming up for you so that you so that you're better aware or better able to process the situation or circumstance that you find yourself in um, for others of you there might be some sort of uh, <clears throat> reconciliation that's necessary uh, interestingly enough, I'm feeling like it's on your part and I feel for the most part, it doesn't have to be that way. Obviously this is a general reading, but if there is some sort of reconciliation that is necessary here, that's represented by the page of cups. Um, I feel like you're the one Gemini that possibly needs to like open up or say something, apologize in some way, maybe even recognize or, or bring, acknowledge maybe your part in a situation. I, I don't know, but I feel like you are, if that is the case, you are in fact carrying a pretty heavy burden with this. Whatever you might be holding back, whatever sort of communication you might be holding back here. But with temperance as, as the final piece of your overall energy, I really do feel like maybe through this month of February or for whenever this message, message resonates for you, you need to take some time to really rest, heal and meditate and face your emotions is what I'm hearing specifically. Some of you might be in an energy of really just trying to escape from them, not wanting to deal with them, not wanting to face them. But the more that you you do that, the more that you push that off, the more that you prolong that, um, the, the, like the worse it's going to get really. It's just going to keep festering and festering until it gets worse and worse and worse. And, you know, then you like, then there's a big explosion and then you really have to deal with it. But also if you want to be free now, so, okay. So here's the other thing, Gemini, some of you, this mental prison that you're in is you having not face your emotions, maybe like ever, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so it's all just kind of building up. It's all just kind of boxing you in. And so, which could lead to the element of like self-medicating or creating some sort of codependency on some sort of coping mechanism like we were talking about last month. And instead, what you really need to be doing is start facing these things so that you can overcome them, let them go, and then you'll be free, Gem. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So let's get into the rest of the reading here for you. So first half, second half of your reading, you could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates for you. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. In the first half of your reading, you have the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles here, in this case for you, is absolutely talking about self-mastery. And I'm getting the feeling that... Um, you build I'm hearing building a foundation really starting to rebuild or realign or rework your foundation this also I'm getting an energy of work teamwork working together some of you need to be reaching out to some sort of support system I'm picking up specifically therapy if you're not in therapy right now and you and you're really struggling emotionally I highly recommend that you reach out and try and find someone that you can talk to because that's really going to make this process of facing or dealing with your emotions that much easier okay Teamwork. You don't have to do this. <laughs> I just heard teamwork makes the dream work. You don't have to do this alone, Gemini. All right. So reach out, ask for help. There is help out there for you. 
Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, because for some of you, there really is like this overwhelming the amount of things that you're really needing to face or you're needing to weed through. And if you can't, I mean, you don't even, you don't really need to get professional help. However, if that is what resonates with you, if that's what you really want, if you can afford to do that, then go ahead and do that. But I mean, I'm talking like you could even just have a support system, best friends, family members, uh, colleagues, someone that you can confide in to help you sift through all of this stuff okay but then the other thing about this with the three of pentacles and the seven of cups we'll take it back to the to the message of self-mastery it's right now what you really need to be doing gemini is focusing on all of the things that are swirling around you with an in an effort to build a better foundation for yourself so that you can be more emotionally mentally and physically stable sound and secure yes for some of you, this is the advice that, or these are the things that you need to do right now. For others of you, this is what you're doing, okay? Either way, this is part of your, your surrounding energy in the first half of this reading. Okay, so the second part of the, your surrounding energies here you have... There's that Page of Wands again. The Page of Wands is definitely an energy, in my opinion, as a reader, is a an energy of um, self-discovery, re-examining yourself, maybe even re-identifying yourself. In some extreme cases, I, I totally would see the Page of Wands as... Uh, representative of a midlife crisis, especially with, like, look at this guy. Now, normally the pages are um, young, you know, almost like children. Like, look at this Page of Cups here. Okay. I mean, the Page of Cups is like, technically it would be the youngest of all because it's emotion and whatever. Okay, fine. But this Page of Wands here, homie's a grown ass man. If my camera would focus, come on, focus, focus. See, look, look at him, grown ass man, full beard and all. And he's re-identifying himself. I love how that's depicted in this, in this deck. So it could be, that, I mean, the Page of Wands could very well represent a midlife crisis for you, but also the Page of Wands could be a messenger. And what I'm feeling here is as you redefine yourself, as you go through this period of reassessing or reworking yourself, rediscovering yourself, re-identifying your power and whatnot, your truth I'm hearing and your authenticity, there could be some messages that you need to send to people uh, in order to, you know, set the record straight. Okay, Page of Wands is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. There is that foundation that we were just talking about in the Three of Pentacles. This is the foundation that you're working towards. Now, sometimes, well, a lot of the time, people see the Four of Pentacles in a bit of a negative way. The Four of Pentacles can represent like being like in a miserly energy, holding on to things that are no longer serving you, being in a hoarder type energy too, um, being too rooted, too stuck, too grounded, too stubborn. It could be a very, very much an energy of being stubborn. Um, and that may that might resonate with you. I, I feel like if it would resonate with you, it would resonate with the past because right now you're in the process of rediscovering yourself, of trying to break free from some sort of mental prison, of trying to let go of certain things from your life and elements from your life that are no longer ser serving you, uh, burdens that you've been carrying here. So what I'm seeing with the Four of Pentacles is literally the foundation that you're working on building starting here with the three of pentacles and the seven of cups, the self-mastery and, 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 and looking through, weeding through all of the stuff that's swirling around you, moving to an energy of re-identifying re yourself and having a much stronger, more solid foundation with the page of wands and the four of pentacles here, okay? This is beautiful. So rest assured, Gemini, that should you really do this work, this is where it would be leading you. Don't worry about the timing or any of that. And don't don't allow yourself to sink into any disbelief like this is never going to work out. Of course it's going to work out. It's obvious. It's absolutely going to work out should you put in the effort. That's all you got to do. You just have to do the work. It's not a matter of if this happens, but when this happens, okay? I want you to main, re, remain assured of yourself in that way. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, you have the, wow, okay, so now we have the Page of Pentacles, but this is starting over, re, uh, uh, starting anew, reaching that new level, turning over a new leaf, um, and for some of you also, the challenge here is committing to starting, because yes, you are going to have to start from the ground up, Gemini, you're not just going to be able to jump right into that king or queen of, 
queen status. No, honey, you got to start from the ground up. You, but, but it's necessary, not because you're being punished, not because you have some lesson to learn. No, it's necessary because you want to make sure that the foundation that you ultimately stand on, once you do reach that king and queen, uh, uh, that king or queen status that ultimately you're moving towards is sound, is secure, is solid, is not going to crumble underneath you. So yes, you do want, you do, it is quite necessary for you to start from the ground up and to commit to placing each and every brick that creates your foundation and thus creates the rest of your structure that you stand upon, that you reside upon, make sure that you are putting that in with precision and conscious awareness. Gemini, if, if anything has taught you, if this, if this situation has taught you anything, it, I feel like it, what it really need, what you really need to gather from it is that you absolutely must be in control of your own reality. Otherwise, people are going to box you in and you're going to end up in this type of situation again. Okay. So with that said, take as much control and, con and, and conscious effort of your life and of this, of this time period of, uh, I'm hearing setting boundaries, okay, but building your foundation, take as much control of that as you can. Do not allow anything to slip by you. This is your structure. This is your life. This is your foundation. Don't let anyone tell you what to do or how to do it. Don't take any, any first of all, don't be trying to take any, any advice that isn't solicited. Oh my God, absolutely not. But also don't take anyone's advice over the advice of your own soul, your own heart, right? Be in control of this, but you have to commit to it. And that is going to be a challenge for a good amount of you. There is a little bit of laziness that I'm feeling here that you don't necessarily want to. And, and, and okay, to that point, I understand how this might be super daunting if you're like, you're in this position where you're trying to figure out your next plan of action, you're trying to figure out your next move, and you're looking super far down the road to ultimately where you want to be. And it just looks like I'm never going to reach that. That's... That's a lie, first of all. Second of all, you don't have to look so far down the road, you know, at this point. You know what your destination is, okay? You, at, least, at least you have a good idea. Your higher self knows what the destination is, so don't worry about that. Focus on the here and now, okay? Don't allow yourself to get caught up in the how long this is going to take and how much of an effort it's going to be. Like, that's just a waste of your time and your energy at this point. Focus on what it is you need to handle and accomplish now, in this moment, okay? Page of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, yes, the queen, no, well, uh, the empress, but the empress is the queen of all queens. I was, for some reason, I was going to say the queen of wands, but um, your challenge is to, you know, uh, part of this message is that your challenge is to love yourself unconditionally enough to really start on this journey, to take on this this ultimate change is what I want to say. Also, the queen, the, oh, goodness gracious, there I go again. The empress is referring to the abundance of time, space, and energy that you have to, to make this happen. And the unconditional love from the universe and the fertility. You know, you have all of this within. You just have to, you just have to commit to it and start making moves. That's all like, okay, but don't, but now don't get me wrong here. There is an energy or an element right now of you needing to like rest and pause and plan for your next steps, or at least start to get an idea of how you want to make your next moves. But you just got to commit to once you have that, that go ahead, or once you have that inspiration, or once you get that plan of action in place to, to do it. Yeah. You have the abundance. You have everything that you need here to make this happen. So don't worry about it. Just get to it is what I'm hearing. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini. In the first half of your reading, you have <laughs> what were we just talking about? The Eight of Pentacles doing the work. And this is really the, this is mundane work, but it's also the Eight of Pentacles talks about consistency. You have got to be consistent. No one ever perfected something by doing it once and just being like, okay, well, I'll try it again next time. No, or I'll just try it again later, or maybe like in a month or two. No, they did it over and over and over. There was a consistent, concerted effort put into whatever it is they worked for. So your closing message or potential outcome here would either be number one, you're about to start doing the work or you are doing the work or number two, 
it's time to get to work. Okay, and be consistent. I don't know who in this collective I'm speaking to, maybe it's a number of you, but you have some sort of consistency issue or problem or or like maybe you're in an energy of like you start something and then you know you don't finish it or you rarely finish it or you lose interest quickly and get distracted or whatnot whatever i mean i'm not passing judgment i'm just saying i'm picking up on it and the message is very clear you have got to commit you have got to stop procrastinating you have got to stop wasting time and you have just got to start working okay eight of pentacles is coupled with there you go the ace of wands there is that inspiration so for those of you that are questioning whether or not this inspiration is absolutely going to come yes it's absolutely going to come for those of you that are questioning um if you should start getting to work yes you should definitely start getting to work because if you're questioning whether you should get to work or not then i kind of feel like that you know what your your inspiration you know what you want to start doing so get to it so then in this overall energy, this could have been a situation in which you have already been through this period of rest and like, and, and, and maybe planning or whatnot. I mean, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, but ultimately the inspiration is coming. And once you get that inspiration, it's definitely time to start working. Okay. All right, so let's get into the second half of your reading here, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies, you have, ah, the world. Excellent. And I'm hearing with this starting to come to completion. And what I'm feeling with this, I'm literally feeling you putting the action out there, putting, you know, taking the steps to really start completing this cycle. Because I do feel like you're at an ending or you've been at an ending, okay? And now it's time to wrap it up. That's, that's, what I, that's the feeling that I'm getting from the world. It's like you literally wrapping things up. The world is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Wow. All right. So this might be a family situation for some of you, or this could be a situation in which it's leading you to a greater sense of family. Um, maybe some of you might actually be wrapping up a relationship that was a massive karmic cycle for you. It's like the, the, um, this type of person or this type of energy, just you couldn't escape from it, but you couldn't escape from it because you weren't you weren't learning the lesson and or putting what you learned into practice. You were like falling into. Sorry, guys, I just uh, sorry. Um, you were falling into old habits, you know, exp like like Einstein's definition of anxiety, uh, uh, anxiety of insanity, you know, doing something over and over again, expecting a different result. And for some of you, I'm picking up on that, the fact that this was, you know, the same energy, but with multiple different people, you just kept sliding back into it because it was an element of a comfort zone for you. All right, that's fine. But now, no, you're no, no more of that. You're, you're wrapping that up. And it is absolutely leading you towards a greater sense of harmony and love, unconditional love and uh, fulfillment even though it may not look like that on the surface. Because yes, this could be a dramatic or a traumatic breakup for you. This could be a breakup of a long-standing relationship that has just run its course. And that could, I mean, you could run into a Five of Cups element or Five of Cups energy. We'll see if that comes out here. But And the Five of Cups is an energy of, you know, dealing with remorse and um, for remorse or something that has been lost. Um, you, yeah, so you're going to have to go through that that for a little bit so it may not look like it on the surface but like once you get through that you'll find that you know you are better equipped to really have this ten of cups this ultimate emotional fulfillment <clears throat> okay second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here gemini excuse me i'm gonna cough <clears throat> excuse me we have okay the two of wands i'm hearing make your decision I'm feeling options coming towards you as you either as you wrap this up, Gemini, or once it is all wrapped up, you're going to need to make a decision as to where you want to go. So like ultimately, I guess you'll find yourself at a crossroads. Again, you could actually find yourself here or find yourself at that crossroads currently, which is influenced by this energy of wrapping things up. Ooh, okay. So for some of you, either you can choose 
take that same path yet again, or you can choose and say, you know what? No, this time I'm going a different way. The choice is yours, Gemini. Two of Wands is coupled with death. So either y'all are choosing to do it a different, go a different route, or your advice here is don't you dare go down that same path again. I mean, honestly, it's your life. Do whatever you want with it. But, but the message is really quite clear. If you really wish to transform, if you really wish to put this to rest, then you have got to choose a different path. You have got to choose something different this time. You're either at this crossroads already or you're about to reach this crossroads. So be prepared. For those of you that know, okay, you're not quite at the crossroads yet, but you know it's coming and it's like, okay, well, actually, I know I'm not there yet, but I have a damn good idea of what these choices are gonna be. Prepare yourself now so that once you get there, I mean, it's not, even a, it's not even a second thought. It's not even a thing. You don't have to sit there and mull over it as maybe the, like the way you did in the past. You, once you reach that crossroads, you know, okay, well, no, I already got my direction set. My chart is, co my, 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 um, my course is charted. You know, my compass is set. My GPS is set. And it says make a right here. So we're going to make a right. We're not going left. We're going right. Okay. You, all right, Gemini, your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Ooh, the King of Wands. Oh boy. Um, narcissism. Yikes. So uh, you're gonna, you are going to come up against, I really do feel like you're going to come up against a narcissistic energy that's going to try and, and convince you that whatever it is that you're doing is wrong or whatever direction you want to go in whatever change you want to make for yourself is wrong i mean this doesn't have to be a man it can be a woman but i'm getting like strong narcissism energy from this king of wands right now in especially in your challenge and it makes perfect sense it's like it's going to be almost like a final test you could say Di like literally i'm hearing direct opposition like someone really does not want you to make this choice or make this change. But ultimately, from a higher point of view, from a universal point of view, this is really just a test to see if you're really committed to moving in this new direction and doing better for yourself. So be very mindful, very watchful. Keep your eyes open and your ears open for any sort of gaslighting, any sort of, um, well, gaslighting is the one thing I want to say the most. Gaslighting, mental, emotional manipulation, maybe even physical manipulation. I really hope no one is getting physically abused. Well, I hope no one is getting abused, obviously. The, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. But yeah, be mindful of this. We're not trying to scare you. We're just saying be mindful of this and choose wisely. And also, you might want to pick your battles wisely, too. Maybe not react to everything that they do or say. Something like that. King of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Swords. And for some of you, this is your, uh, this, uh, for some of you, this is a husband or a, um, or a boyfriend. Um, I am getting that specifically. So if that resonates with you, take it with you. But what I just heard or what I just felt, especially when the Seven of Wands, uh, Swords, excuse me, a Seven of Swords came out was like, you needed to know this about this person for a long time. You may have even been denying this. There may have been people around you that have been talking up and down, left and right, talking about girl or boy, you need to wake the F up. And you were just like, no, 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 I, I, I no, no. But see, you were underneath you. If that was, if that's you, then you were in that. The, the, you were in the narcissistic cycle. You were in the grasps of the narcissist. You, you know, you were under the narcissistic conditioning that this person exploited you, has been exploiting you under, okay? You need to know this for a fact. You need to see this clearly and you need to start making moves to get away from this type of energy. But also what this King of Wands and Seven of Swords is saying is, is just confirming what I was saying to you. This person is trying to deceive you. This energy or this circum it doesn't even have to be one person. It could be multiple people. It could just be an environment altogether. But like ultimately, this is deceptive. Yeah. They may be coming forward acting like they know what's best for you, but really they're only after their own agenda, which is in fact hidden, is what I just heard, a hidden agenda. And manipulating or you're manipulating the situation or twisting the situation or maybe even 
um, um, artfully, I will say that, artfully uh, expressing themselves in ways that make you think they're on your side, but really they're only after their own agenda here, okay? They may even try and twist it and tell you that, or try to get you to believe that they are your their agenda is your agenda. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, honey. New. No. Very much that could very well be a bait and switch type energy. And that could very well be what got you in this situation that you're working on breaking free from altogether. Or uh, I'm sorry, um, in the to begin with, okay. Oh boy. All right, closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini. Six of swords. I know that shit is right. Moving on, leaving the past behind you, moving away from rough waters to calmer waters. I am literally seeing a woman, it doesn't have to be a woman, it could just be a feminine energy, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. But I'm seeing a woman moving out of a, move, moving out of a home, a house, a living situation, whatnot, whatever. This is your potential outcome. So that could be something that you're heading towards down the line. I'm not saying, I'm not necessarily saying that that's happening in February, but I'm saying you, ultimately you could be heading towards that. And that is something I saw specifically. So I'm going to throw it out there, but it also could be symbolic, you know, and, that, and it could be symbolic of um, somebody leaving a, uh, a mindset, a frame, a frame of mind, a belief system, like the house could, the, 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 the image of a home could represent your mind. Okay. Six of swords is coupled with, <gasps> holy shit, the four of wands. Now the four of wands absolutely represents a home physically, like a physical home. So yes, someone could be leaving their home, finding a new place to live, crashing with some friends maybe for a little bit while they get themselves back on their feet. But the thing about this is even if you're not physically moving homes or changing living environments, what is also coming through here is there's some sort of movement, some sort of karmic change is what I just heard, some sort of leaving the past behind, some sort of energy of um, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And that is all possible or facilitated by the fact that you have this personal, we'll call it spiritual foundation, even inspiration towards doing so. This four of wands is giving me an energy of, yes, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. We can go ahead and call you SpongeBob. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe you're not that excited about it, but hey, maybe you are, you know? <laughs> hey, do you, boo. All right. Uh, I just, as I turned the deck over, I heard as I was looking at um, temperance in greater service of balance and harmony within yourself. So that's the overall energy. That is why uh, if some of you are asking, good God, why is this happening to me? That's why. This is all in service of greater harmony and balance within yourself so that you can love yourself better and be a more of a support system for your own self rather than maybe externalizing that so much. Okay. All right, Gemini. Here we go. Let's get your oracle guidance now. All right, oracle guidance for my Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Let's see what we've got for you, Gem. It is right there. This deck is a little is a little weird. <laughs> Sorry guys. Don't don't mind me. I'm just whatever. Okay. You have card number 39, which is Beaver Moon Creation. Okay, so this really could speak to you manifesting your way out creating a new definitely speaks to you creating a new life for yourself here here we go 
You can create your own destiny. Be industrious. Every creature on earth creates. You should welcome the process of creation. Save money and time. Have a reserve. The quote here is, I am a mighty creator slash creatrix. I, it is my birthright to create. There is a good reason for the saying, busy as a beaver, for the beaver is truly an industrious animal. Not only do they create sophisticated architectural lodges, their semi-submersible homes, but they change the course of rivers and waterways through strategic damming. They create new environments for themselves and other animals. Like the beaver, we too can create with industriousness and vigor. Everyone is creative, not just those who are considered to be creatives, such as artists, designers, musicians, and writers. We all can be encouraged to think more creatively, to solve problems outside of square solutions, to invent new ways, and to imaginatively, I'm sorry, imaginatively break new trails. The moon is the moon of taking, oh, I'm sorry, this is the moon of taking action. Our Northern Hemisphere ancestors at this time would be preparing for winter. They would be preserving food, preparing skins, gathering medicines, strengthening their homes if they were not nomadic, and preparing to move to better hunting grounds if... Okay. Anyone who didn't work hard at this time would likely suffer greatly for, would likely suffer greatly for it when winter came. The time to take action is now. Hmm. And the companion stone or metal for this is chrysophase, which I have. Where do I have that? Where's my chrysophase? Um, oh no. Whatever. But look it up. If you feel inclined to work with chrysophase to help you get through this energy, then by all means, I encourage you to do so. But with that said, Gemini, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March. Yeah? Take care. Bye.